Hey, Pete Stege here from B2B Clarity. Targeting your marketing, targeting your company, doesn't work if it's just an intellectual exercise. If you're doing it so you can come up with something to put on your website or to make you sound good, it's a waste of your time. You need to have your business change in a day-to-day -day way because of the market that you are focused on solving problems for. Dennis Yu, uh, he was on a podcast, the Marketing Companion podcast, and he had a great quote. He said, if you're niching, you're joining a community. So think about that. Your market segment, who you're targeting, that group of people, if you do it right, you're in the room, you're in the community, you're you're joining the meetings, you're understanding the terminology, you're contributing to the issues, uh, maybe virtual, maybe physical, hopefully both. But if you're not part of that community, the people that you're helping, if you're standing outside and offering solutions at an arm's length, you're gonna miss a huge opportunity. So how do you do that? First, and I say this a lot, but the more tight you can target your company, the more specific your market segment is, the better off you will be. Because that, that room you're joining uh, is much clearer and much more um, able to be helped, able to participate with than a big you know, virtual auditorium of, of um, prospects, right? So having a very clear, specific understanding of who you can help the best allows you to help them the best. Next, once you choose your target segment, look, take a good look at your, yourself and your company. Is the, the target market, are the clients that you're trying to help coming up in your business internal meetings on a regular basis? Is your language related or the same as the language that your prospects and customers are using? Are you focused in talking to, as, a, as a team, not just in your marketing, inside the company, are you talking about the issues that those people have? You need to show up and change things for your client um, to really stand out in this hyper-competitive world. So I encourage you to uh, make a conscious decision and a commitment to the people, the, the segment of the world that your business is assigned to help and spend your effort, invest the time and energy of your business there. And if you do that, you will stand out with all the other competitors who are just mailing it in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I'd love to talk more about it. Reach out to me one-on-one -on, -one on LinkedIn or at my website.